Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. This is the Earth to Mars series I'm putting together, take two. And in the previous video, we did a little bit more atmospheric braking, and we tried to orbit the planet Mars a couple times to try to find a natural passage over top of Olympus. That would also be during daylight, because uh, trying to land with no visibility, because the ambient light thing isn't working, um, sucks <laughs> and and we did have let me go ahead and switch to the full view here and unpause we we do possibly have this passage coming up which isn't too much different from the one we're currently on it's in 13 orbits I just don't know uh, I'm sure based on this time I could do a calculation but I don't know what the orbital period uh, I don't know what the rotational period of Mars is I guess we could probably figure all that out if we really wanted to take the time um, but we're not going to take the time. We're just going to, we're just going to try, we're just going to try to land. Uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe landing blind will be interesting. Um, I really don't want to do that. I really, really, really don't want to do that. Let me check my locks one more time. We're at 11 days. We have plenty of locks. We can orbit quite a few more times. In fact, uh, I know I said this was going to be it, but I just really really don't want to land when where I can't see anything so let's let's try this 13th orbit let's just try it and we'll see you know we'll see where the day night terminator is at at that point doesn't look like it's going to be favorable no it's not going to be good there either no I don't think it is Nope, definitely not. All right, let's look out into the future again. We have 222 on 14, but it seems like 13 or 14 orbits out. What it seems like what we really need is uh, like seven orbits or something. So, what do we have that's not a super big time? All right, what do we have coming up? So we're coming near the day-night terminator now. What about that one? Well, that that seems like it's too far out though. Let's see what happens as it gets closer. Yeah, it's just too far out. Right, let's look out in the future again. And then, then we have 14, but we kind of, I'm kind of getting the sense that what I, what I want is like right now I would want like the seventh orbit out or something. So just bear with me while I think. Let me keep going just because we have the time. If I had like a 300 or something, I would try to go for that. Maybe this one? Probably not. I think we're going to take this one no matter what, though. I'll check my locks. Mm -hmm. See, it just, it, they keep working out it's perfectly where the close passage is right as the sun is setting. Check my locks again. Eight days. All right. Yeah, we can't mess around too much longer. Um, let me look in the future one more time. Two fifty-six, but it's fourteen, and I that's that that's like that perfect number. That's not right. What about six thirty-eight? That's a lot of cross range, but I think we can manage. Let's let's target this one. Let's target six thirty-eight. Or actually 611. Let's target 611. Because I feel like that'll be... Yeah, that'll be about the right time. I don't know, did I overshoot it? Let me go number two. Okay. 
Right, so currently we're moving away from the base, so we'll take this one. This is where we're going to deorbit when we're halfway around. Actually, maybe even this one. Not, I mean, this one's a little bit better, but that's not much of a difference. And I feel like the sun will be slightly better here. Let's actually go, let's go for that second one. Sorry to be so indecisive, but I really just, yeah, obviously I really, really don't want to land where I can't see anything. All right, let's, uh, all right, let me see here. Oh, wait, the other thing is, um, all right, bring up orbit. Actually, I kind of do wish I had a more circularized orbit now. Because now we're going to have to do a deorbit maneuver at some fairly awkward point in the orbit, but it's fine. <clears throat> we'll make it work. So I think this goes up to 9.5, if I'm not mistaken, before we're halfway around. Let's get into the retrograde position because we're getting close. So it is, so it reaches 10. Maybe it's 11 point something. Oh, it's counting down. Okay. Now we're going to bring down the other side of our orbit. This is a super weird deorbit burn. So since my PEA is actually here, and the base is actually here, I might actually want to bring my PEA down lower than zero. We'll go with... Uh, we'll go with that. Hmm, actually I think I should keep going. All right, we're gonna go with that. Um, I have to pause my video really quick to tend to something, and apparently that feature does seem to work, so I'll be right back. Okay, picking back up where I left off. So we just brought down the other side of our orbit, and we have a, a 615 off base distance that we're gonna to have to correct for. So let's, uh, let's see here. Well, first of all, Let's warp time forward to get over to like an entry interface point. Something seems very wrong here. If this is the base I'm landing at, Am I going to have to orbit the entire planet? Uh, something about this deorbit was wrong. I think it's because my... Yeah, because we're only 1,000. All right. I guess we'll try to make it work. <laughs> I know we can do an about face in the atmosphere, so maybe we'll try that. Um, Translation rotation. This is going to be a very weird landing. Let me think here. Right, we'll, we'll try to make this work. Um, but we're going to have to do a 180 in the atmosphere, which I have done before. <clears throat> but I think it'll be a lot easier to do that than it will be to try to glide all the way around. Because we're essentially... How did I mess this up so bad? Yeah, I don't know what happened. But we'll make it... We'll try it. Like I said, we'll try to make it work. So we're getting close to... 
the atmosphere, so we need to turn on the APU, stow the radiator, uh, turn on surface controls. Oh boy. And I'm literally going to try to turn around 180 degrees in the atmosphere. This will be fun. But like I said, I have done it before. Don't know that I've ever done it in the XR2. It is possible. So, which way do we want to try to go? If I, if I, if in the direction that I'm at right now, if I, I don't know that it will matter, but I kind of feel like I should probably go this way when I do my turnabout. Give this a shot. All right, let's warp time forward because we can't really do anything up this high anyway. I am so confused. How did I mess this up so bad? Let's Translation. Oh. turn that off and just use surface control. So the idea now is I'm going to just bank and pitch the vessel, and I'm going to try to just literally do this huge turn. But yeah, we need to get down a little bit lower. Because we just don't have any control here. Oops. And we will need to stay up as high as we can so we don't bleed off all of our velocity um, and re reach like a stall speed or something. But we need to be low enough before we can actually get anything accomplished here. And I feel like we need to be around 30, uh, 35 kilometers in that neighborhood before we're really going to be able to get this turn happening. So let me actually warp time forward just a little bit. All right. So maybe now we can start turning. This was not at all how I intended this last part of the mission to go. Yeah, I am worried that I'm burned through all my APU fuel trying to do this. I'm just not getting a bite out of the atmosphere really at all yet. I can see my orbit plane slowly moving. Mach 17. I think what I might actually be able to do is, um, so I'm not burning through my APU, let me set my elevator trim to full up. And let's turn off the APU. Let's set this aside for now, and I think I think this will save fuel. We'll, we'll use RCS instead because I think we have plenty of fuel. 
um, I think. And we'll just use full up elevator trim. We'll, it's, it's currently locked in that position with the APU off. <clears throat> so we're not burning through the APU. And we're just going to kind of hold this maneuver and we're just trying to steer around and go back in the other direction. Which is going to take an incredibly long time. But I think it's faster than trying to go all the way around the planet. Because somehow I just really messed up the deorbit burn. I don't know how that happened. I have to watch the video playbacks. And then, because every time I watch my video playback, I always catch myself uh, saying something wrong. Like I'm referring to a line plane MFD when I'm looking at transacts, or I'm referring to my apoapsis when I'm saying periapsis or something like that. So let's see. So actually, I think I'm going the wrong way for what I'm trying to do here. Because I can see my orbit plane now starting to bend but it's bending in the other direction from what I want. So... Mm, actually, maybe it's not. Because what I'm looking at is I'm looking at this part here, and it's starting to lower, which is what I think I want. But that's starting to go up. Let me, let me think. And let me actually roll out a bit. I, I don't, I have a feeling this is all screwed up and isn't going to work. We'll go with it. We'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, this is a complete failure and we maybe go back to a restore point or something and just, you know, we'll consider this another simulation. But I do feel like we're getting a pretty good amount of steering right now, so... And so we probably don't want to go any lower into the atmosphere. Let's put that on one. So we'll kind of stay right here where we're at, altitude-wise. It'll be a miracle if this works. But I do think I am steering in the right direction. I was getting a bit worried there, but I do see the orbit plane bending in the direction that I think I want it to be going. And yeah, we're just doing this massive turnabout. Take a look at the outside so you can see what's going on. Sort of this perspective here. Yeah, we're just, you know, slicing through the air because Olympus is, um, you know, back that away somewhere, way, way back that away somewhere. All right, let's roll out just a bit. Just to keep that vertical speed under control because we want to stay, at, I think, about this point in the atmosphere. I am a little worried that we're not going to have the velocity to do this but hopefully and if we do make it it was dumb luck no if we make it it was all skill if we don't make it it's just because I made a mistake all right let's move our track over this way and zoom in on our position we'll be able to see things a bit better that way all right so we're climbing Yaw the vessel a bit this way. Go a bit more like that. Vertical speed coming down. Horizontal speed is still pretty high, which is good for me for now. I remember when I did the... Uh, I think, I think Dimitri called it, So You Think You Can Land. I can't remember if that was the moon one or the Mars one, but this is what I did in the Mars one. Trying to land on that runway at Mars, um, when I would enter the atmosphere, I would always uh, 
turn around and go back because it was a bit faster doing that than it was to try to go um, all the way around the planet. And I, since I am so close to Olympus, I feel pretty confident that this about face maneuver is probably faster than trying to orbit around one time. All right, let's roll out a bit. Roll out a bit more. All right, get the vertical speed going back in the other direction. But yeah, you can you can see what's happening here. Um, and since we're about 20 minutes on this part of the video, let me just hit a pause, switch camera views, and this is going to take a while. So yeah, uh, but I'll go ahead and record all of it. You can just skip through the parts that you're you know skip ahead like two minutes at a time just to see what's see how things are progressing with all that said if you like this video if you like the series hit the like button leave a comment and i'll see you in the next part